why in this video we're gonna continue to learn uh, time reversible uh, markup chains. Uh, let's continue to say this uh, Aaron first uh, model. Um, so the setting is we have two urns and totally we have M balls. So let's say this is urn number one and this is urn number two. And what happens is uh, uh, at each time step, we just pick one from one urn. All right. So let's say we pick one from this urn and we move uh, this ball to uh, the other urn. So what happens is we pick uh, randomly. Uh, from either urn. So uh, the ball is picked randomly from either urn means uh, each ball is equally likely uh, to be picked. Okay. And we move this ball to the other. And then um, we have our, our um, Markov chain, which is uh, x sub n, which is a number of balls in, uh, let's say, urn number one. Okay, it doesn't matter which urn, but uh, we just pick one at, uh, at time n. All right. Apparently, the state space is. Uh, it's zero uh, till capital M, right? So zero means uh, there is no wall in uh, urn number one, and uh, uh, M means uh, um, there are M balls, like all the balls are in urn uh, number one. And apparently, um, this is pretty similar to a random walk. That is uh, because at every time step, um, we either go up by one or go down by one. So uh, let's uh, write down the transition probability. And uh, first, uh, let's consider the probability of uh, um, of i to i plus one. So the i means we have eyeballs um, at uh, n, and i plus one means we have i plus one balls uh, at m plus one. This means um at uh, time n all right if we have uh eyeballs at uh, um urn number one and we have m minus eyeballs at urn number two in order that um In order that we have i plus one balls at uh, time n plus one for n number one, we must have moved one ball. All right, we picked one ball out from n number two and move it. So we picked a ball from n number two and we move it to n number one, and that means. Uh, we must have uh, chosen a ball from urn number two. And urn number two, we know that it has m minus i ball. And they are totally like uh, m balls. So um, the possibility is m minus i divided by m. And apparently, this is the same as uh, one minus the possibility of. Uh, uh, transition from i to i minus one because if uh, you either pick a ball uh, from a number two or a number one, okay. Now using the uh, equation in the previous video, 
uh, we can solve for the stationary probability, uh, which is pi zero, and uh, it is uh, by the formula it is. Uh, Uh, this uh, fraction and by a closed inspection we can see that the denominator is nothing but j factorial uh, this is uh, this is apparently j factorial and the top uh, right here it is nothing but m factorial divided by m minus j factorial because uh, uh, right here uh, the first factor starts from m minus j plus 1 and uh, and then use uh, a combinatorical formula we can find that this is nothing but 1 plus j from 1 to m and this is m choose j and then we take inverse of this sum and moreover and this is factorial. And moreover, um, because uh, m true 0 is 1, so what happens is we can rewrite this sum in the single summation, which is uh, the summation of the factorial formula. And uh, we we couldn't help but notice this is nothing but the binomial coefficients. So uh, we can simply use a binomial expansion on the sum 1 plus 1 raised to the mth power. And this is by definition, that is the summation of uh, j from 0 to m, m choose j, and the first sum is 1 raised to the j power, the second time 1 raised to the m uh, minus j power. And because uh, 1 raised to any power is 1, and this is the sum of uh, m choose j, which means uh, inside this bracket it's uh, 2 to the m power. to the uh, minus 1 and as a result this is a uh, 2 to the negative mth power and this is nothing but 1 half raised to the mth power and now which means we can further solve uh, for the pi i and if we solve pi i from the equation uh, we covered in previous lecture We'll see that this is nothing but uh, um, m choose i, the multiply with, uh, uh, this is pi 0, uh, we just have solved. And this is nothing but uh, a binomial distribution with uh, uh, equally likely uh, possibility. This is nothing but uh, 1 half raised to the i and 1 half raised to the m minus i which means this is nothing but uh, this is a probability of a binomial random error well, let me let me use another random error well, which is y equals i for y is uh, a binomial distribution of uh, capital M and one half. This is like a flip a coin M times and each time we have one half chance of a get ahead and one half another one half chance to uh, get tail. And to, to think about this, uh, uh, this is uh, using textbook words is quite intuitive. This is because uh, why uh, it's binomial um, this distribution is because um, this Ehrenfest um, O model is what we call it, it has uh, some sort of a self-correction 
um, this behavior. So for example, let's take a snapshot. Uh, this is our time n, and we have zero balls here, and we totally we have uh, m balls here, and which means if we proceed to m plus one, um, example, the next time, because we have no balls in n one, uh, we must have to pick one ball. And it must be come from uh, n number two, and then at next time step, we will sure for n one we will have one balls, and n two we have m minus one balls. And to see this uh, uh, with more drastic example, let's assume n number one. Let's say we have a uh, a quarter m, and let's assume uh, m is uh, divisible by uh, four. And we have a uh, three quarter m uh, balls in uh, number two at uh, time n. Then for next step, uh, it is more likely we choose a ball from a uh, number two. And then at m plus one, okay, it is more likely that uh, the uh, number of balls of n number one goes up by one, and n number two goes down by one. All right. I'm saying it's more likely is because. Uh, uh, it's just a probability, and to interpret more uh, on this uh, time reversible markup chains is given a path. Okay, given the path, for example, uh, let's say this is capital M and this is zero, and given a path bounce, bouncing back and forth. So, for example, if we have a path and the horizontal axis is a time, a time reversible markup chain, we cannot tell um, if this path is running backward or forward. So, that's the most uh, Straightforward explanation of time reversible mark.